What other details do we know about what's going on, Nick? Uh, well, at this point, not a great deal, but uh, we've uh, been told that there have been several strikes in uh, Iraq and Syria. You know, the key issue here is that so far it looks like the Biden administration has elected not to attack targets in Iranian territory. Doing so would have been an even greater escalation as the U.S. has sort of pulled uh, and embroiled deeper into this uh, conflict in the Middle East that touched off with the Hamas attack on October 7th. So at the moment, um, it does not appear to be the sort of widespread massive bombardment that some people had feared would really ignite an even broader conflict, but a fairly limited set of strikes. A fairly limited set of strikes and something that took a while, too, to uh, materialize. There had been reports earlier this week that um, and markets were certainly waiting for some kind of response. Why did it take this long, do you think? Well, um, it could be all sorts of factors. You know, there were some critics who had said that President Biden was essentially giving some Iranian officials, uh, uh, military commanders, the opportunity to clear out. Uh, but it could have been all sorts of other things, you know, cloud cover, weather issues, uh, wanting to make sure that the targets were the right targets. But, you know, what President Biden had said uh, when three U.S. service members were killed on uh, uh, last Sunday in this drone attack on, on Jordan was essentially, listen, we we are going to respond at a time and place of our choosing. Uh, so he had made no secret that this was coming, really trying to send a message both to Iran, to the proxies, and also to folks back home saying that we would not allow uh, the killing of these three service members to stand. So we're now seeing this. The big question is whether there will be more to come. We have some indications that there will be a rolling series of strikes over the coming hours and days. So it may not be the last of it tonight, but certainly not in the next several days as the U.S. looks to degrade the capability of these Iranian-backed proxies all over the region.